In the last mini lecture, we looked at some of the contrasts between medieval and Renaissance uh, art. In this lecture, I'd like to describe Renaissance art itself, beginning with the early Renaissance and then moving to the more familiar names uh, of the high Renaissance that we associate with uh, Michelangelo, da Vinci, and Raphael. Uh, one of the first painters to be described as uh, sort of hinting at a Renaissance style, at least by the art historian Giorgio Vasari, writing in the 16th century, was the painter Giotto. Uh, here in this painting you can see a lot that looks very medieval. It's flat. The images or the features of the baby Jesus uh, still look like a miniature adult. Uh, the people looking on have halos. It still has this, um, again, very medieval look to it. And yet, Giotto began experimenting with folds in the clothing. And you see the hint of um, shadowing on the faces. Here we get a closer view of a new interest. Even though the proportions seem a little odd and the perspective is a little bit off, there's an interest in creating depth by uh, the use of shadowing, of shadows. Here we have another example of uh, Giotto with his folds and a decal look still, and yet, and yet there is a beginning effort at creating the illusion of depth. With Masaccio, um, we have uh, further expansion on these themes. Masaccio is moving towards a kind of linear perspective. This is not quite right. Something about this just doesn't quite look square yet. And yet he's experimenting. He hasn't developed a science of linear perspective, but he's already experimenting with the use of creating depth by um, by the illusion here of linear perspective. Here we have a painting of the death of St. Francis of Assisi by Masaccio. And again, we have a clear sense of uh, emotion that is emerging, that there's a, a drama unfolding here. This is not just about teaching. It's not didactic in the medieval sense. It's about uh, monks who are grieving the death of their master. And here with the betrayal of Jesus, Masaccio reaches closer to a truly Renaissance style in which the characters are painted, uh, careful attention to composition, and the characters are painted with a sense of, 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 of depth, of three-dimensionality uh, to it. They still have halos. Uh, there's still something not quite right about the, the balance of these angles, and yet with the use of aerial perspective in the background, uh, and with the shading, Masaccio is moving in the direction of Renaissance art. Here we have a close-up of Judas receiving the, the, uh, the money to betray Jesus. And uh, here again, a close-up of Masaccio. You can see um, three-dimensionality, a character emerging on the face of this person, the expulsion of Adam and Eve, sense of drama again, of grief that uh, wouldn't have seen earlier. Here's a painting by the third uh, uh, Renaissance, early Renaissance artist identified by Vasario, a man named Fra Filippo Lippi, experimenting with uh, uh, new kinds of composition. Still a lot that looks medieval, and yet there's a sense of depth and a sense of three-dimensionality and a sense of drama in this very familiar depiction of the Madonna with the baby Jesus. I'll turn to the High Renaissance in the next lecture.